Hello and welcome to another Crelate onboarding series video. In previous videos, we've gone over how to create a brand new job, how to import candidates into the system, how to search your database for candidates, and in this video, we're going to go over the recruiting dashboard and how to move your candidates through your own recruiting process. To see the recruiting dashboard of any particular job, simply double click that job on your home page. For the job that we've created, the new example company developer job, if I double click on this tile, in from the right slides the recruiting dashboard. Now remember that this is a holistic look at where all of your candidates are in your own configurable recruiting process. So these stages that you see here, new, awaiting response, screening, all the way down to placed and passed, are just the steps that work in my own recruiting process. You can feel free to have your administrator configure this in the settings area and feel free also to check out our video that we've done on customizing the recruiting process. You can also customize the way that your job dashboard is viewed and we've done a video on that. What you're seeing here is called the tile view where you can simply drag and drop the tiles through the different pro stages in your process. So let's start working with our candidates here. So these tiles on the job dashboard represent the candidates that I'm currently considering for this position. Now this is also where my applicants come into if I decide to publish this job on any of the job boards or my own website to capture applicants. And this is also where those candidates came in that I imported from resumes that I got from LinkedIn um, and that I searched the database for in the video before. So I can single click on any one of these candidate records and on the right hand side, again, some high level detail just about that candidate. But if I double click, inside the entire contact record on the right hand side. This is called the working view of the job dashboard. This is the ability to review and triage all of your candidates and move them through the process while maintaining your position on the job board. So at any time, I can do things like slide Arnie's resume in in the top right hand corner by clicking the resume tile. This is known as a sticky view inside of Crelate, where I can go up and down the list here and I can review those candidates without having to reset my view in the system. This makes it very simple to work with my candidates, to make notes about phone calls and to move them throughout the stages of the recruiting workflow. You can also do some bulk actions here, like I could select multiple tiles if I'd like to by clicking and dragging and make a quick note in bulk or set a task out in the future, or even do some of those bulk actions that we could from search, like some bulk tag management, or I might want to submit them to my client in bulk directly from here, or I can send them a bulk email if you have our advanced email feature set up. but let's open someone like Arnie here. And what you're seeing on the contact record is a, an all-encompassing view of everything we've ever done with Arnie. And just about everything on this screen is a filter that you can click and drill into specific information. So I can see things like all of the other job searches I've ever considered Arnie for and where he is in the process of those job searches. Below that I have an activity stream that shows me everything that I've ever done. I can also click here to filter on specifics. Show me every note that we've made, every task that we've done, every email that we've sent back and forth, so on and so forth. And these buttons correspond directly to these activities that you see up here. Now these activities, much like your recruiting workflow steps, are fully configurable by you. So the, these buttons that you see here, calls and screens, meetings, interviews, interviews too, are just the things that I want to differentiate on a contact record. Every button that you complete will give you a date, time, and ownership stamp for who did this activity and when it was completed. So let's say that I want to make a quick note by clicking my note button that I called and left Arnie a message. You'll notice that because I'm working on this particular job search that the note that I'm making is defaulting to being regarding this particular job. So what I'm in essence saying here is that I called and left Arnie a message regarding the developer job. And I can click save and that will appear in Arnie's activity stream. Tim called and left a message at 240. Then I might want to do something like click my task button 
and schedule something like a reminder for a follow-up. Let's say Friday, any time during the day, let's do a quick follow-up. And I can click Save there, and now Crelate scheduled a task for me in the future and will remind me when this task is coming due. Then I'm simply going to click Arnie's tile on the left-hand side and begin dragging it, and my workflow stages appear at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to drop him into a waiting response, and I'm going to move directly on to someone else in my workflow here. Let's say that I'm taking a look at Amy's resume, and I don't think she's going to be a great fit for the job. Let's just click on her tile and drop her into one of my past stages here. You'll notice when I drop into one of my past stages, a prompt pops up for me to enter a note. This is by design and something that I've turned on. I want all of my recruiters to be making notes about why we're passing on candidates. So I have this note prompt. I'm going to say... And now that note is always on her record. All of your email and your calendars are fully integrated inside of Crelate. So I have options for sending out email through Crelate as well as calendar appointments. And they are actually coming from the sent items of whatever mailbox that I have plugged in. So if I click my blue email button, I can send a quick templated email regarding this position. Or I can do something like schedule an interview and send out calendar appointments. So if I click my interview button, let's say Sean and I agreed to meet for an interview for this position. And we agreed to meet on Thursday at 1 o'clock. Crelate is beginning to set up a calendar appointment for me to send here. Where is it going to come from? It's going to come from my Crelate address. This is actually my Outlook address that I have plugged into Crelate. We've made a separate video on how to add your email connection so that you can do this as well. So when I send out this calendar appointment, it's going to be in the sent items of my Outbox. Who am I sending this to? Well, let's put this on my Outlook calendar to remind me. We also have a click link on the right-hand side to add the candidate if you'd like to. Let's add Sean in here and send it to him. But if I click my magnifying glass, I can add anyone from the database other Crelate users, so other people, other recruiters that are using the system with me, or maybe the client contact wants to be involved in this interview, and I want to quickly send this out to them as well. I can add anyone I'd want to, to as an attendee to this interview. I can change things like the subject and the location, or add, attach things like documents. And below, we have a message, or we have a prompt for messages. Um, this is where you can write a little note uh, that everyone will be able to see. There we go. You also have the ability to add private instruction. This is a note that only your um, attendees other than the candidate will see. So this is made for private team instructions. Uh, I've seen this used for talking points, things we want to make sure we're asking the candidate during the interview. So these are private notes. And if I'm happy with the way this looks, I can click Save and Send. And this is going to go directly to Sean's calendar and my calendar as we're both in the attendees list here. And now Sean has a scheduled activity inside of Crelate and I'm going to go ahead and drag his and drop his tile here to my interviewing stage and I can move directly on to the next person. So again this recruiting workflow is made to quickly be able to move through your candidates and add activities and to-dos. As you're scheduling all of these, they also appear on your home screen in an area we call Tasks and Events. And you can find that directly at the top of your home screen next to the filter for job orders. If I click on Tasks and Events, it's going to show me everything that I have scheduled in Crelate or everything that other recruiters have scheduled for me in chronological order. 
So I can click on Sean's record when it's time for this interview. I could slide in the resume if I'd like to, and I can even complete this task directly from here. Great interview. And it'll fall directly off of my to-do list there. So this to-do list and this task list is set up so that you can manage all of your tasks across all of your jobs from one area. Going back to the job order here, there's also a couple other things you might want to do during your way to making a placement. I can do things like submit my candidates directly up to my clients in a templated email if I'd like to. So if we fast forward to Sean's interview, let's say that it went great. We mentioned that it went great. At the top here in the This Contact dropdown, I have the ability to submit him for a job. And if I hover over that, all of the jobs that he's a candidate for will appear here. And we can select this new example company developer job. And what you're seeing here is an email template that I've set up to send up to my client contact. It includes documents like the resume, and it's also looking for documents like the cover letter. It's worth mentioning that you can set up your own templates to include whatever information that you'd like here and be configured to include any particular package of documents. Different templates for me might have different documents based upon the client that I'm submitting to. We'll go ahead and throw my email in here. And if we're happy with the way this looks, I can click Send Submittal. And that goes directly out from Crelate in an email format to my client to review. At that point, it's always going to be recorded on Sean's record as a submittal I've done as well. Let's say the client gets back to me, loves the way everything looks, and is ready for an interview. Well, then I'm just going down to my client interview stage. So the process continues like that until I either decide to make a pass or I place a candidate. And much like my pass stages, I have an auto prompt for placements that I make as well. So when I drag and drop to my place stage, I get a prompt here where I'm putting details about my placement. And a placement's been made and is always recorded on Sean's record going forward. I hope you found this short video series informative. We're planning on doing some more videos in the future, so stay tuned. Thank you so much.